What's up, heat seekers? This is Joe Otis from joeislit.com, and welcome to the first ever edition of Lit Picks on Video. Last week I was an even 500 at 8 and 8. I am 14 and 18 on the season. Let's see if I can pick things up this week. Today's betting lines are provided to us by Foxbet New Jersey. So go to www.foxbet.com to check it out and place a parlay today. Our first game is the Cincinnati Bengals at the Buffalo Bills. Cincinnati Bengals are 0-2 on the year. The Buffalo Bills are 2-0. Uh, the Bengals played great in the first week against the Seahawks. They almost pulled it out, but they looked like trash last week against the 49ers at home. Uh, the Bills were trying to find out if they're a real team or not. They beat two really bad teams. Uh, they beat the Jets and the Giants. So right now they are 6.5 point favorites against the Bengals at a minus 300 odds. On the money line, uh, my pick for this week, I'm gonna take the Buffalo Bills 17, Cincinnati Bengals 10. Uh, the spread pick will be take the Buffalo Bills minus six and a half. And I would just say pick them on the money line at minus 300. I'm not really confident that they'll cover the spread, so we'll see what happens there. Our next game is the Miami Dolphins at the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, everyone knows Miami is a garbage team. Dallas is on top of the division right now at 2-0 for the a NFC East. Uh, right now they are 21 and a half point favorites. I think that the score is going to be Dallas 40, um, Miami 10. I would say take Dallas minus 21 and a half on the spread pick. I, never, I don't really trust the spread anymore to be honest with you. So you might as well just take them with, on the money line minus 3300. Try, try to avoid this game if you're going to gamble because really isn't worth it for the payout. Our next game is the Denver Broncos at the Green Bay Packers. Denver Broncos had a crushing defeat last week against the Chicago Bears on a field goal. Uh, the Green Bay Packers are 2-0 right now, but who knows, are they for real or not? They, have, they host the Denver Broncos at Lambeau. And right now they are seven point favorites. So I would like to predict the Green Bay Packers to be the Denver Broncos 28 to 17 and I would say my spread pick is Green Bay minus seven and a half. And I would say take them minus 350 on the money line. Our next game is the Atlanta Falcons at the Indianapolis Colts. The Falcons with a um, come from behind victory against the Eagles last week. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts are looking pretty good. They beat the Titans last week. Um, Falcons one and one. Uh, the Colts are also one and one. So the Colts are the home team. So I'm gonna go with them. Um, I would say that the final score will be the Colts 28, um, Falcons 24. I would say take the uh, Colts giving up one point and also minus 118 on the money line. Pick, pick the Indianapolis Colts. Our next game is the Baltimore Ravens at the Kansas City Chiefs. Both teams come into the game at 2-0. Uh, Lamar Jackson's looking amazing this year. If you have him in fantasy, you're doing pretty good. Patrick Mahomes is the reigning MVP, and it's, he's Patrick Mahomes. What can I say? Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs are the home team. They're favored by four and a half points. Uh, my prediction for the score is the Kansas City Chiefs 38, Baltimore Ravens 30. I say take the Chiefs with the spread minus four and a half, but I would say gamble the money line minus 212. Our next game is the Oakland Raiders at the Minnesota Vikings. Oakland Raiders 1-1, one one. the Vikings also 1-1. One one. Vikings are at home this week. The Raiders looked impressive for the first five quarters of the season and it fell apart last week against the Chiefs at home. This week they're on the road. Um, I like the Minnesota Vikings, I like Dalvin Cook, I like the way he runs the ball. Um, they, the Vikings have a pretty good defense and they're the home team. So I would say take Minnesota, they're gonna win 35-24. Four, and the, I would say take Minnesota minus nine in the spread and take Minnesota minus 450. I would say also avoid this game if you're gambling. Uh, I don't really don't like doing spreads, but I would say once again, take Minnesota, but avoid it. Our next game is the New York Jets against the New England Patriots. Uh, New York Jets 0-2 on the season. New England Patriots 2-0, blew out the Dolphins last week. Patriots get to take advantage of their pretty easy schedule by facing their division opponent, the Jets, who look like garbage this year. Um, I like the New England Patriots to win the game, of, I'll say 35 to 17. I think New England will blow them out, but uh, my spread pick is going to be New York Jets plus 21. 
and because they're division rivals, this is going to be my upset. I would say pick the New York Jets giving up 21 points, or getting 21 points this week against the Patriots. Who knows if that A-B drama will have anything to do with the Patriots. We'll find out today. Next up is the Detroit Lions against my Philadelphia Eagles. The Detroit Lions are 1-0-1 on the season. The Philadelphia Eagles are 1-1. One one. Right now, the Eagles come to the game, a 4.5 point home favor against the Detroit Lions. Uh, I like the Eagles in this one. They, I think it'll be pretty close, but I think it'll be the Eagles 24, uh, Lions 17. I say take the Eagles minus four, and I would say take them on the money line minus 200. On to the four o'clock games. First up, we have the Carolina Panthers traveling to Arizona to face the Cardinals. Uh, I think that this is an interesting game. We have Kyle Allen and Kyler Murray used to be team, teammates at Texas A&M and they will be facing off. Uh, Kyler Murray took the job from Kyle Allen who then transferred to Houston. Uh, Kyle Allen is a Scottsdale, Arizona native and be coming home to his family and I predict the Carolina Panthers will upset the Arizona Cardinals. I think the score will be Carolina 21, we'll say 20 Arizona. I say take Carolina plus two and then take them on the money line plus 105. Our next game has the 0-2 New York Giants facing the 1-1 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Are the Buccaneers for real? They beat Carolina last Thursday night. Uh, the Giants don't look very good this year. They're 0-2 They lost to the Bills last week. I think that they are changing over their quarterback to Daniel Jones, and I think he might have some uh, growing pains. That's something the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will win 17-6. I like the Buccaneers uh, minus five, and I also take them on the money line minus 2.5. Our next game is the Houston Texans at the Los Angeles Chargers. Houston Texans are one on the season, as are the Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers are the home team. So I think I'm gonna go with them. I can think this would be a pretty high scoring affair. I'm gonna say Los Angeles Chargers 30, uh, Houston Texans 24. I like the uh, Chargers giving up three points and on the money line minus 162. I say take the Chargers on the money line. Up next, you have the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Pittsburgh Steelers are 0 2 on the year, going to Mason Rudolph, who's a young quarterback filling in for Ben Roethlisberger. The San Francisco 49ers are 2 0. Are they for real? We'll find out today. Uh, right now, the uh, Steel uh, 49ers are favored to win the game. I say the 49ers win this one. 20 to 13, I would say my, my spread pick would be to take the 49ers minus six and a half, and then I would say take the 49ers on the money line minus 275. Up next, we have the New Orleans Saints traveling to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. The Saints in the year are one and one, Seahawks are two and oh. Um, I like the Seattle Seahawks here. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater getting the start for the Saints with an injured Drew Brees. I say take the Seahawks 31, the Saints 17. My spread pick would be to take the Seahawks minus four and a half and take them on the money line minus 225. The Sunday night game is the LA Rams traveling to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Uh, this is gonna be my upset pick for the week. I think that a lot of people are expecting the Browns to lose, but they are home against the traveling Rams who are going to the East Coast. Uh, I would say my prediction for the score is Cleveland 31, LA 28. I would say take the, um, the spread pick would be the Browns plus three and a half. Take them on the money line plus 160. And on to Monday night, we have the Chicago Bears with their last second victory last week in Denver. And are one and one taking on the Washington Redskins who are 0 and 2. Redskins are off to a slow start this year. I like taking Chicago. I think they're going to win the game 20 to 10. And I would say uh, take Chicago minus four on the spread. And I would say take them on the money line minus 225. Our last segment will be a parlay pick. So here's what I like: so pick some one o'clock games. I like taking uh, Green Bay minus 350, Indianapolis minus 118. Kansas City minus 212, Philadelphia minus 200, take the Jets plus 21, that'll be minus 118, and pick a four o'clock game in there, go at Carolina on the money line. There are your picks this week. If you wanna uh, check out some blogs, go to www.joeslit.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at underscore Joe is lit. Thanks, have a great week, and as usual, always stay lit.